In a previous video, we went over how to match up two different loops that have two different keys. So our original song is in C minor. When we first imported this simp string loop, it was in E minor, but we converted it to C minor. All right, and just to look at that again, you can see right here we did negative four on the pitch. So let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> So now let's say we want to add a loop a different tempo or let's just say that we don't like this drum beat anymore and we want to get rid of that so we're going to mute it and we're going to add a different drum beat so let's say we come over to our drum loops and let's see this 95 um okay so let's say we like that drum beat but if we bring that in it's probably not going to line up very well with our other loops because they're already at 80 beats per minute. So let's click on that. All right, so you can see that's not on beat. All right, so we're going to undo. So before we can do that, um, in other programs, it's a lot quicker, but in here is not the worst thing in the world. Since we know the drum beat that we want to go to at 95 beats per minute, we need to change our project to 95 first. All right. And we're going to adjust this time. So that way it still stays in full bars. And when you hear it, it's faster now. And now we can go in and add our drum beat. That's 95 beats per minute. And now that's going to match up perfectly. And if for some reason you still wanted it to go back to 80. Now you can just type in 80 and hit adjust and now we're back to 80. Or if you want it faster than that, we can do, let's do 120. All right, we want to adjust that. So everything still stays four bars. That's how you can make two different tempos match up with each other.